Fuck all these niggas and bitches, they dead to me. I got the sauce, I got the remedy. Say you my dog, but act like an enemy. I make a call and turn you to cannon. I'm wasting my time, I'm wasting my energy. Shot for my confidence, shot for a better. It's on me. Anyways, Victor Wembanyama dropped a triple double with blocks. Twenty-seven points, fourteen rebounds, five assists, ten blocks. He could have had a quadruple double, ladies and gentlemen. And yes, it's just one game, but everybody was having these talks about Chet Holmgren being Rookie of the Year. Brandon Miller coming on, being a rookie of the year. Asher Thompson, I'm in Thompson. Like, there's so many great talent in the league we have right now. But nobody, I mean this, genuinely, nobody matches up with Victor Wimby up. So, in today's video, we're going to be talking about Victor Wimby Yabba needs to be patched before it's too late. <laughs> What's good, y'all? It's your boy. We're back again with another video. Now, if y'all enjoy my content, y'all love NBA commentary. I love y'all. I want y'all to give your boy a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Share this video with your parents and family out there. I appreciate y'all for the support. Listen, here's the problem I have with Victor Wembanyama. It's not with him. It's with San Antonio. They don't utilize him right. Am I the only one that noticed that? Because Victor Wembanyama can honestly drop thirty in his sleep every game. He's seven foot five, six, whatever he is. Lanky, can shoot, can obviously dominate in the post, has great footwork, has great handles for his size, great defensive player also. He can also facilitate well, an underrated playmaker, as y'all seen in the last, last game. He does it all. But San Antonio has him, I don't think they have on minutes restriction, but they still plan him on and off. And so that's why Victor doesn't get all the points that he needs to get. Because it is it is your one. So I, I see what San Antonio is trying to do. They're trying to restrict him a little bit because it's his first season of his career. But listen, I'm saying this right now. Victor Wemiyama might be the face in the league in a couple years. And I don't even think it will be a couple years. It might be a year or two. Other than Anthony Edwards. Other than Luka still, maybe right now. Other than Jokic, John Morant. Victor Wimbayama will be the face of the NBA. He put enough numbers like that. He dominated on the floor like that. He posterizing his, his opponents like that. There's nobody can stop him. Nobody. The only player that can match up with him is really Kevin Durant. And he said Kevin Durant is the hardest player he has ever guarded so far. San Antonio, so far, right now, I'm not going to lie. San Antonio has a bright future. Yes, they, they're bad. We expected them to be bad. But San Antonio has some picks coming up this next NBA draft, right? And they have good young players other than Victor. I like Jeremy Sohan. I really do. I think he's going to be he's gonna be a proven player in this league. I don't know if he's going to be a star, but he's definitely going to be a proven player. Devin Vassell, streaky, but he's he's really good. He's a really good scorer. Y'all can keep him around. Trey Jones, solid for his position. He's he got to prove a little bit more on his, his playmaking a little bit, but I, I like him. Listen, give San Antonio a year or two, San Antonio is going to be right up there. Victor Wemmy Yama is going to be a, a Reckon a force to reckon with. He's already great. I he's not even good. He's great. 
they, they just, San Antonio's not even playing right. And what I love about Victor Wembanyama, I noticed this. I guess the primary players, he elevates his game. He ain't afraid of these. He ain't afraid of the moments. He wants to go against these people. He wants to form to. He wants to exceed his performance. You, you see how he did versus Kevin Durant. You see how he did against Joel B. Even though Joel B. dropped seventy points on him, but he still had thirty six. You see what he did against Anthony Davis. Victor Wimbayamba wants the moment. He's coming for that spot. And the league better look out. Because, again, the NBA is such a great place where this talent we have is. The talent is the best we have ever seen, the best we have ever had in NBA, NBA history. But now you got a 7 for 6 demigod. Like, this is unfair. This man, when he develops, he's only, what, 19, 18, 19 years old? Wimby, Chet, Anthony Edwards, still got Luka, got Jokic, Giannis, John Morant when he comes back. The league is in a, a phenomenal place. And the fact that these all-stars, we have so many players that didn't make it. Kyrie didn't make it. Zion didn't make it. Brandon Ingram didn't make it. It's too much talent in the league. But that one person that I'm talking about, Victor Wembanyama, oh, he's coming. And the league better look out because it might be unfair. That's all I got to say for this video. Just a short video just to give an update about Victor Wembanyama. The man is, he needs to be patched. And that's all I got to say for this video. If y'all enjoyed, give it a ball, like, subscribe, subscribe if you're new. I appreciate y'all tuning in for this video. Be a ball with Unamon.